Hello, I'm Dan from ASRV Rentals and Sales, and today we're going to be taking a look at our brand new 2024 Thor Twist Model 2JB. Like always, I'll be giving you a full walkthrough of the exterior and then the interior, so you'll be all set and prepared when you decide to rent from us. Now, the length of this Class B is going to be 21 feet, and although it is a little bit shorter, we like to say it is 12 and a half feet in height. That'll just be for especially new uh, renters who just want to keep that number 12 and a half in mind for places like parking garages and drive throughs Most tunnels should be fine, however. Over here, we have a little panel that will open up. This is where we fill up our gas tank. So this is going to be taking uh, regular 87 gas, no premium or diesel, and the size of the tank is going to be 24 gallons for this one. Next up here, we have our power cord connection. This is a 30 amp RV, and of course, we'll supply you with the 30 amp connection. So once you're plugged into your campsite with this uh, big black cord, everything inside, all the electrical, uh, major electrical appliances inside will be working. That'll be your TV, your microwave, your AC unit on the roof, as well as all of the power outlets behind the cab. First off, we have our freshwater inlet. This will be to fill up the tank itself. So if you're driving on the road, you need to use the sink, shower, toilet, you'll be taking it off of your tank and this will be how you fill it up. That's opposed to the city water inlet down here. This will be when you're at a campsite or a place with city fixtures and you want to use their water from their pump instead of your own. So you're going to use the same hose, but you're going to plug into this one instead. This will bypass your tank and it'll go straight into your pipes. Down here we have our propane tank. So this switch will just turn on and off the propane. It'll last about a week or so before you'll have to refill it. And if you do have to refill it, truck stations and campsites will do it for you. Uh, this is going to be powering things like your stove, your water heater, your furnace, as well as your fridge when you're not plugged in. I'll talk more about that later. This whole area is our dumping station. So this will be how we dump out our black tank, which is our toilet water, and our gray tank, which is our sink and shower water. So this here is our toilet. You're just going to push down these two buttons, bring this down here. This little box you can pull out of this. So all you have to do is just lift on this blue handle and just tug it out like that. And then from there, you can just open up this part, unscrew the cap, and then just pour this down your sewage. Below that, we have our gray water dumping. So all you want to do is just unlock this part here. The sewer hose for this RV is going to be completely connected to it. So all you have to do is just take this hose out. Then we have our gray valve here. You can just pull this out. Um, then due to gravity, the waste will come out through the hose here. Just uh, stick that in your sewage. Once the gauges inside say that the gray waste is empty, you can just push it back in to close it, lock this all up, and you're good to go. We have our TV cable connection here. We'll give you a small black wire, that's the TV cable. You're just gonna hook it up in here. The uh, post at your campsite or wherever else you're plugging it into will look the same. Um, so once you're plugged in, you'll find all your channels that way. Um, with these Class B, um, these twists, they do not come with an antenna. So unlike all of our other RVs, you cannot find local channels through the air. You'll either have your HDMI connection or your TV cable connection here. We have our exhaust for the furnace here. So of course, expect it to be hot and do not put your hand there. Onto the back of the RV, this will open up and we've put a few of the hoses and cores you'll need in here. So uh, I'll start off with the black cord here. This is our power cord, as I was talking about before. This is a 30 amp. You can tell because it has three prongs on this end. Um, we'll also give you this uh, yellow 30 amp to 15 amp adapter right onto the end of your power cord. Just in case you don't have 30 amp anywhere, you can use like a regular wall outlet like this. Um, however, be aware that if you are plugged into 15 amp and not 30, uh, some of the inside appliances will not work. For example, your AC. We also have our bag here. Um, here I've put our Freshen City water hose for our water inlets on the driver's side. And then while it's not in here right now, we will also provide you that small black wire, which is our TV cable. And on the passenger side, the only thing we have to worry about are our uh, power outlets right over here. You just want to make sure that you are plugged into your campsite for these to work or your generator is running. That'll be it for the outside of this RV. So we can head inside here. You just want to pull on this all the way out. And we have a fly screen here. You can just roll that, unravel it, and zip it up. Over here at the entrance, we have a few things. We have our fire extinguisher over here, and in the inside, we also have a smoke detector and a carbon monoxide and heat detector, which is actually right over here. We also have a small dial here. This is for our house battery. The house battery is underneath the chassis, and it's for very uh, minor electrical things like the lights. Um, you can leave it on like this. It's not going to die out unless um, 
you are parked outside, boom docking for several days at a time. Uh, but it will be charged in many different ways when you're when you're plugged into your campsite, when the generator is on, even when your engine's running, it'll be charging this house battery. Now that we're in the inside, we have the most important part here, our control panel. So it's sort of like a tablet right here. Um, we have all of these icons here, just this tab. Um, so right now we're at the home tab. It gives you a an overview of pretty much everything. We have our levels of the tanks, temperature, lights, all that kind of stuff. Next to that we have our little water drop icon. This is our tanks. So we have our fresh water, which is a third, and our gray water, that's our Singan Shah water, that is also a third. It does not register the black tank. You'll just have to check that yourself. Uh, but we have our water pump here. So all to do is just press this once. This is going to be running on the house battery. Um, once this is on, it'll be drawing water from your water tank. So if you want to use the sink, so uh, sink shower toilet, you're going to have this on. That also means if you're plugged into city water at your campsite, you want to have this off because you want to take their water and not your own. So next to that, we have our tank heaters. So I'll just turn this on. You want to leave this on to heat up your waste tank so that they do not freeze. So if you're going to a place where it's below freezing, you just want to have this button on. Below that, we have our lights. So this will give you all the lights in this RV and just press any of them, turn them on and off. Below that we have our fans. So this will just be the exhaust fans for the kitchen and the bathroom. Next I'll go back up to this lightning bolt icon. We have our batteries and our fuel. So this is going to be our coach, ba our coach battery and our chassis battery. That's the car battery and the house battery. We also have the level of your propane tank right over here, so that's 7 eighths full. Above that, we can turn on and off our generator. So right now, you can see the status of the generator. It says it's stopped right now. We have the hour meter, which tell you, uh, tells you the total number of hours the generator has been running ever since it was manufactured. So right now, this is a brand new RV, so it's only 0 0.6 hours. Um, you can keep track of your hours that way. You don't want to have it on for no more than like three hours at a time, then have it off for about two or three hours just to prevent it from overheating. To turn on the generator, you're actually going to hold down start here. You'll see the status will change to starting, and then it'll take just a few seconds for it to start up. And now the generator is running. You're going to wait about up to 30 seconds, and then you're going to hear the microwave beep. That means everything inside will be working on the generator. All right, so now the generator is on, I can show you how to use the TV. So once you turn it on, you're going to get to this screen. You're just going to press the settings button down here. The settings will pop up here. We're going to go over to inputs and then we can select our input here. Again, the antenna, there's no antenna for this unit, so antenna will not work, but you can uh, use your HDMI as well as all of your cable. Also with the generator on, I'm going to go over to this thermostat icon. I'm going to press this button here. It's going to be for our AC. So just one tap and then it is on. You can adjust the temperature over here. Um, you can set our mode right now, it's set to cool with the snowflake icon, that's our AC. I'll press it once. We can adjust it to just the fan, for example. And then we can adjust the speed of our fan here, low or high. And now to turn off the generator, we can just head over to the lightning bolt icon again, and then just hold down stop. It'll say stopping, and then there we go. Also at the entrance, we have our water heater. So all you want to do to heat up your water, you're going to push this dial right here. This display will light up. You can see as I turn this clockwise once, it'll go from the RV to the thermostat being selected. So I'm just gonna press that. Right now it says off. I'm gonna turn to the right, which is clockwise, just once and twice over to hot. I'm gonna push it down to select it. And now you can see that uh, the thermostat here says hot. So right now it is using propane to heat up the water and it'll take up to 15 minutes. So you only wanna have it on if you're going to want to use the hot water, otherwise it's going to be draining your propane. If you want to turn it off, you're going to do the same thing, but the other way around. So you're going to go back to your thermostat, turn it two times counterclockwise, back to off, push it one more time, and now it is off. In the back here, we have this whole sofa area, and then this will all turn into a bed. But first, I'll show you the table. We just have one pole here in our tabletop, so we can just stick this pole in right here in the ground. And then with the pole in, we can put the tabletop, just slide it on, just like that. To turn this into a bed, we need a bit of support, so we're going to use the tabletop, and we're going to rest it on these ledges right here. To turn this into a bed, first we're going to pull this up and out like a futon, just like this. Next we're going to take our tabletop, and we're going to rest it on these ledges right here. 
And lastly, we can put all of our cushions in this format, and here is our bed. A lot of our main storage for this vehicle is going to be the overhead cabinets on both sides here. We also have a bigger cabinet over here, uh, shelves and a little pole here in case you want to hang something small. And we also have our bathroom on the driver's side over here. To work the toilet, you just have a small blue button down here. Uh, you're going to push that and then it will flush. You want to make sure, however, that you have your water pump on or you're plugged into your city water at your campsite. Toilet paper for RVs are specific. You want to get a special marine, uh, RV marine dissolvable toilet paper. You can get that at the campsite section at Walmart or campsites will also sell it. We have our shower faucet here, of course, and we have a little pop-out sink. You just bring that down there and bring that faucet just like that. We also have a mirror cabinet over here and we put a few bottles of solution here. This is just uh, to help freshen up the toilet in case the smell comes up from the black tanks. You just pour that down the toilet. Now onto the passenger side, we have our kitchen area. This here is just a small, regular microwave. You just wanna make sure not to run the AC and the microwave at the same time when you're on your generator. Otherwise, it'll be a little bit too powerful for the generator and it might cause it to trip. In case that happens, you have to go under the chassis and flip the breaker. So just to avoid all that altogether, just remember when you're on the generator, don't run the AC and the microwave at the same time. When you are plugged into a campsite, you can do that. We have our stove over here. So two burners, this is gonna run on the propane. All you wanna do is just for each of these, you're just gonna set it to light, and then you're gonna spark it with this button here. Once you're done with the stove, uh, you wanna wait a few minutes before you put the top back on, otherwise it is liable to break based on the heat. We have a charging station over here. You're just gonna push down on it. This will pop up. You can just bring it up here like this. So we have wall outlets, USB, USB-C, and to bring it down, back down, you can just press this red button here. And we also have our kitchen sink here with a cover in case you wanted some extra counter space. We have our fridge down here. So as I said, outside, when you're not plugged in, your fridge is going to run on propane as it is right now. However, once you are plugged in at a campsite, it will automatically switch over to electricity. So no matter what, your fridge will stay on and your food will be kept cool. We also have a lot more storage area over here. So cabinet space up and around. Down here we have three drawers and some cabinet space to my left here as well. In addition to these two seats, we also have two seat belts in the back here with a detachable table that, that can swing in and out like this. To work the windows, all you want to do is just squeeze this and pull it out like that. We also have some blinds here you can pull out. And we have our curtain, this is Velcro, you can just uh, unravel that and then just zip it around. We have our skylight over here. The fan I showed you before, you can control that with the control panel. But the skylight itself, you can just pull this out and bring it forward and back to open and close the cover. In the shelf up here, we have some privacy curtains for both the windshield and the side windows as well. During your rental, we'll also give you this little envelope, which has a lot of things that are useful. We have our QR code. This will give you an online guide slash FAQ. This will answer most of your questions. We also have our registration here, of course. Um, we have a 24-7 roadside assistance number that is separate from our regular uh, ASRV rental number. Um, so you can call this number. Um, we'll give you a reservation code once you rent. You're just going to give this number via CoachNet your reservation code so they'll know what make and model you have so they can serve you better. Um, but once these will, these guys will answer pretty much any question you have if the guide cannot. We also have some extra fees for the fees box just in case anything happens. Uh, you can give that number a call. So here we are in the front cab. Uh, I'll just show you the keys really quick. All you have to worry about is this one here is for the engine, of course, to unlock the back as well. Um, we have the silver key here for the um, on the outside of the driver's side for our sewer hose as well as our freshwater inlet. And then we have our own contact information in case you want to contact us about uh, your rental. We have our number, address, all that kind of stuff. To start the engine, you want to put your foot on the brake and then you're actually going to touch your key here to this to turn it on. Your center console here is pretty much just like a regular car or truck as regards the AC and all that. Um, I will show you the, the uh, display up here though. So we have, again, all these tabs here. We have a radio, of course, you can connect your phone with Bluetooth as well. And then if you go down here, um, we can go over to our backup camera. 
So you can leave this on when you're driving, otherwise when you put the RV in reverse, it will also pop up for you. We have our parking brake over here, it is uh, electrical. So all you wanna do is pull on it once, this will engage the parking brake. And then if you wanna release it, you just push on it once, just like that. And that will be all for our 2024 Thor Twist Model 2JB. I'm Dan from Ace RV Rentals and Sales, and have a great trip.